Okay, let me take a moment and show you how Zotero works. At this point, hopefully you've already installed it. And you've gone through the tutorial, so you have a sense of how this works. And I want to show you how valuable this will be to your research. Um, if you've used Citation or, or um, EndNote or something like that before, then Zotero is probably going to be fairly similar in its activities. If not, this will be new and will be exciting for you if you've laboriously hand entered by typing in all your bibliography information in the past. So, I've got Zotero open and I've got lots of articles here. Uh, the standard Zotero uh, will allow you to store up to, I think it's like 150 articles, and I've exceeded that, so I've had to pay the extra. And I have all my uh, different folders here that you can store things directly into. So when you order, open it up, you want to open a folder. Let's create a new folder here. Let's say Zinc Deficiency. And that folder will then open up here and that's where we want to save things so if we have this highlighted before we go looking for articles all the articles that you find will automatically go here so now let's go over to PubMed I've already looked up PubMed and I've put in a search here for zinc deficiency so we start looking at articles and we see this one and we thought wow this looks like a good article for what we're studying um, and we come up to this icon. If you've installed Zotero and the icon, now this is a Mac. I think it works similarly for a PC, but I don't know for sure. But here's how it works on the Mac. I go up and I just hit that button. And it tells me down here it's installing that. And then if we go back to Zotero, here's the article. And we expand this out. It's going to have the PubMed entry information. And over here, it's recorded already all the information you need when you do a journal article, when you use it, this for uh, your bibliography. So let's go back and find a couple of other articles. We'll just pick a few at random. Um, so we'll do this one here. We decide that fits. We'll do this. Now, sometimes the PDF file will come along with it if it's available online. Um, that makes it all the easier for reading the article. If it doesn't have a PDF and you can't find it free of charge, you have to request it from the library, which is easy enough to do uh, here at, uh, at OU. So we'll add one more article in here and give us three articles on zinc. So we'll say we're done with our research. Here's all three of those articles right here. Now, it's time to write the paper. You've got all your articles done, so we've, we'll go to, to Word and start a document here. So let's say you've got your first paragraph or a sentence here, and you're interested in um, citing one of those articles. Now, you should have this toolbar, and if you don't, you can go ahead and open up your toolbars and select the Zotero tool, toolbar up here. And this first area here is going to allow us to enter our first citation. The very first time you do this, it's going to ask you what style you want. If you know what journal article you're writing for, or which journal you're writing for, find out what style they use. This is easy enough to change afterwards. We might as well start out where you're at. Um, let's just start with the American Medical Association or AMA style since that's fairly standard and we can always change that later. So we'll do this and then it's going to come to those articles on Zinc because we're in our Zinc folder. You can change folders and find other articles but here are the ones on Zinc. So let's say that first sentence was pertaining to this article. So we'll select that and it will go into a reference. Now we do our second paragraph and we want another article so we click again up here and we'll do the second one here and it'll come there and let's say for the third one and we can actually if it's citing more than one of these let's do let's in, I think we can do two of those at the same time and we got to do them individually but you can put a second one in there so let's come back and say it, that also refers 
we'll say to this first article. So we'll do a double citation on that one. Okay. Um, and you write up your paper and you send it to me. You're getting ready to send it to me. And then you want to insert your bibliography. Uh, so all you need to do is come up here where it says insert bibliography and boom, it's all there in order um, exactly as we needed to use it. Now you can also put your header there if you like. And then you send me your paper and I look at it and see these are all in the form you need for your journal if it's an AMA uh, style journal. And I say, well, I mean, that's okay, but I really think this should go up here and this should come down here and uh, I think it should look more like this and you say oh great now you gotta go back and change all these numbers well no you don't all you need to do is come up here and click maybe yep and it reorders everything all the way down it changes the order in your references it changes the order in your article and when you're all done or you could even try to put that comma in now between those but you can wait and do that when you're all done um, actually that order should probably change to two to three so you, you can brush those things up at the end of all of your work but you don't want to fool with those too much now because Again, as we proofread this, we might change it around. So this will save you a lot of time. I just wanted to give you a quick orientation on how to use that. And I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.